Yes, yes, <laughs> I want it. I want it right now. Give me the child. There's too many of them. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. They're so fat. They are causing the they're causing the whole ship to fall apart. Oh my gosh, ah, now you gotta go this way. Run! Run for your life! You gotta go back through, oh no! Every now and again I have to ask myself. Am I going crazy? What do you think, Nick? <laughs> yeah, that's a proper response. It's about the response I expected. You raise a good point. And in all honesty, it's it, yeah, I know, I know, and and I I often question my sanity as well because you know I make a living off the internet, but you know y you have to you have to like pull back and look at things from a fixed perspective. Why don't you ask Jim? Jim, you I haven't seen Jim. Oh shit, where'd he go? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I <sighs> like get it's like. It's like, get him a cigarette. <laughs> That's kind of what I was just taking inspiration. It, it, yeah, always sunny. Give this guy a cigarette. Jim, he's freaking out. It's like, Jim, who's Jim? You don't see Jim? Oh, shit. <laughs> it's like, you're losing your mind, dude. You're losing your goddamn mind. <laughs> God. So, all in all, this, uh, yeah, I, this day has been very turbulent. Let's just say that. I had to reinstall windows on my pc and thus i lost everything and when i say everything i mean i had to by reinstalling i had to uninstall uh i had to uninstall all my adobe programs i had to uninstall all i had to delete all of my like templates and everything that i had for thumbnails and for uh for like video projects and it took me several hours to get everything back up to speed. And, yeah. It, For that, some reason, it logged me out of Adobe, too. I had to log back in. That was me. Yeah. That was me. I'd logged in on my account and everything, and I was uh, I was just uh, I was like, wait a second. Is this the one? And then I looked, and there were four uh, active uh, things on the account. And I'm like, that's not supposed to be like that. Click, click, click. And I must have clicked the one that was yours on accident. That's all good. But hey, you were able to get back in, right? Yeah, I remembered the passwords. Yeah, and also I had to sign back in on Motion so I actually Array to get my graphics and everything. I guess the password whenever I had recently reinstalled my Adobe trying to fix stuff. Come to find out it wasn't Adobe that was the problem. It was NVIDIA. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh. I, I was like, it's probably this, and it's probably that, and it was that. So I was like, cool. Works. Yeah. So I got it logged back in again after you logged me out earlier. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get into this. It's r slash hardware gore chips with dips. My case hasn't arrived and I was bored. <laughs> I have seen a lot of cardboard cases. Technically, it's not conductive. Great airflow. I wouldn't put anything over 500 bucks worth of parts in no. it. But it, it'll do. My, 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 my problem is the fact that it's flammable. Over. Yeah. Like, even if you have great airflow and stuff, your computer's going to get pretty damn hot. Eventually, I'm um, yeah. feeling like cardboard has a chance of catching fire. No doubt. A month. And when I looked to see the problem, I saw she had plugged an iPhone 4 charger into the SD card slot. That's uh -oh. uh, I, uh, that's impressive. I didn't know the old 30-pin connectors were a, almost exactly an SD card. That power damn. is data. Oh, no. This was a known problem with IBM Travel Star drives. I actually had one in one of my laptops. I had just gotten back from summer camp, had probably several hundred pictures on it, booted the thing up to put everything on an external drive, and heard a lovely grinding noise as everything was destroyed. Yeah, that was how mine was. Dude, I took mine to a data recovery place, and the guy said, Dude, I can recover like 30, maybe 40% of this. What what files do you want me to focus on? <laughs> this is why I don't do mechanical drives for the most part anymore, especially as a main boot drive. I usually I use them as like a bulk storage drive that's rarely <laughs> used. Like on yours, you have yours as a bulk storage drive. Yeah. And it works. It works very well. But M.2 and SSD there is there like they have a chance of going down, yes, but the data recovery process is in some ways a lot easier on those. 
Anyway. Plus they're much faster. Yes, immensely faster. Chips and dips. Mmm, that sounds... Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, stop. 90% of the sub. <laughs> I drop something and it doesn't work. I'm a post-it. Me and my crappy Samsung. That's nice. Uh, I, I would I would just get a new phone at this point. And yeah, that's not yeah, there to be sucks. like an expensive thing. On Black Friday, I literally bought some backup Motorola phone for $9 from Best Buy. I could not yeah. operate a phone like this. How do you dial? How do you type anything? When you realize your wife's 2,000 watt hair dryer wasn't a good idea to remove case badges on a one day old laptop. No! Oh, okay, no. first off, I have questions about a 2,000 watt hair dryer. No! Dude, you, you did that to yourself. Also, those stickers aren't hurting anything. Leave them be. Because yeah. that would pop most 15 amp breakers. Number two, why are you using a hair dryer? These stickers come up with like a basic razor blade or something. Yeah. What are you they're doing? They're not that hard. Don't do this. My friend is afraid that an air compressor might damage his computer. I mean, if your friend's afraid of an air compressor. You know what? Screw it. Yeah, I'll let you keep all the dust bunnies in your machine. I'll keep my evil air compressor away. Jesus. Maybe a can of air? Maybe a computer duster? Maybe a very enthusiastic sneeze in the general direction of whatever this carpet is? <laughs> Found this on AliExpress. Uh, yes, the uh, famous 3.5 audio to USB drive adapter. Got a whole computer inside that thing that lets you control the MP3 stored on the USB flash drive, except all of this is bunk. This reminds me of the USB powered pet rock that Thinkit used to sell. <laughs> I got one of those for free at one point. <laughs> Make it stop. CPU cool, 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 cooler? I lost count, but somewhere in there. But, but, but yeah, I, I don't seven. think it's going to overheat There's seven now. coolers. I moved some files to a USB drive, and then the computer fell off the desk. Oh, no. Oh. I hope your USB port's okay. I'm less concerned about the disk, and you can probably recover the data if, you, if you're willing to learn some soldering. My yeah. My Xbox controller batteries stopped working, so I made this terrifying 18650 conversion. Uh, it's working fine now. For the uninitiated, 18650s are a type of lithium-ion battery cell, and Ooh. uh, what he's just- Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's not safe, is it? That is not safe at all. That's the batter- that's the battery, and that's the conductor that goes into- th Dude, why would you do that? They're, these are dime a dozen! You can buy them anywhere! Why? This built is terrifying on so many levels because if you accidentally short those two, you'll just get a fire. Lithium ion batteries aren't like regular batteries. They just dump all of their power directly out very quickly. Yes. So good luck, friend, engineer, and hopefully somebody who still has hands by the end of the week. And game on. Found this old PC abandoned in the woods. Just a case, PSU and floppy drive left. Huh. This machine either contained records of terrible, terrible criminal misdeeds or Department of Defense information. There is no in between. DOD. <laughs> DOD. Careful. I, mm, I mean, oh. you're not wrong. What are you trying to cool? What is this? Guys, oh, the new Galaxy Fold is amazing. That's, that, that's not a Galaxy Fold. That, that's a, that's a note. I think that's a note for her. Yeah. Oh no, what have you done? Friends keyboard after five years of eating fried chicken. Oh. Ugh. You fucking nasty motherfucker. Mine wasn't that bad. Mine was no. pretty bad. Yours wasn't even like half that bad. That's also my the exact same keyboard, the Corsair K70. Dude, why is his why is this button missing? Why is this dude the scroll lock button's missing? Come on, dude. Oh, gross. Look, we, we all eat at their, our desks except for like those weird minimalist people that have perfectly clean desks all the time. But they're not human. There are probably many crumbs in my keyboard, but dear God, that is disgusting. Also, why is slash record? I, I have no idea what application uses that. Weird. On my client's old PC, someone got away with using glue instead of thermal paste 20 years ago. Wow, you are so lucky that the old processors did not run that hot. It still looks like there's some scorchy bits. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas yes. lights kept turning off, so I did this. Hopefully now they'll stay on oh! for the Christmas season. I, I don't think you're going to have a house by the time. No, that's yeah. go that breaker's going to explode. You spread them out. Christmas season ends. 
Uh, Congratulations, you have just made fire. I ever clocked my GVU. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone to plaid. <laughs> I think that orange light behind your desk might be fire. I think my it's too, too fast, too fast. Slow it down. <laughs> God dang it, I just thought of a bit. I just thought of a bit that I'm gonna that I want to use now for like a short. Hold on. I think that'd be pretty funny. Yeah. It's like, well, it is called that. Anyway. I'd wipe his hard drive before selling his old laptop, so he took it into his own hands. I'm actually on your grandpa's side with this. It takes a full 26 pass erase to get data completely off a hard drive. And at work, uh, we fill ours with salt water. Salt water is a good one. Uh, I used gun. I literally like blew like like 15 holes in the main disk of the hard drive. I'd say that's pretty damn good of like making sure data cannot be recovered. Mm -hmm. And then usually destroy the control boards. If it's really sensitive data, uh, I will take it home to my drill press. But yeah, you, you can't, I mean, I, I'm sure your grandpa didn't have anything. Well, I, I don't know, maybe your grandpa did have something on there, but maybe? more destruction is better than less when dealing with data security. What happens when you try to hide the controllers from the kids? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! Bet that smelled bad. Must have smelled horrible. Jesus. Serves you right. Gonna get ready for no cooler November. I uh, uh, no, no what? No. Are these temps too high for a an, an i7 9700K? Yes. Oh my God, 105 Celsius. <gasps> no. Did you use glue instead of thermal paste? My hotkeys. You're gonna uh, melt the uh, I don't wanna be the one to tell you this, but your laptop's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> My IKEA wardrobe didn't come with any door handles, so I used two dead Celeron SL86J CPUs that I had lying around. Felt so wrong drilling holes into them. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? That's actually cute. I like <laughs> it's this. not bad. I used to have a necklace that was a, a, a server Xeon processor, and everybody in the IT office used uh, hard drive plates from uh, drives that had either gone bad or were from corrupted raid arrays or something. We always used them as coasters. That was just like what you did. Did yeah. I install the M.2 wrong? Oh, no. Oh, Yes! No. What are you doing? Uh... Oh, that's a Western Digital Black, too, dude. That's... Oh! How is that even possible? Like, what it, the fuck? Dude, you did everything wrong. I'm trying to figure out no. what he even did. Like, where is it connected at on the other end that it's holding it down? It's not. It's... <laughs> Whoever got too wrong? Oh, no. He has it underneath the standoff that is... The, it's supposed to go on top of the standoff and then you screw the screw in up here. Uh, Instead, he has it buried underneath the standoff. He it down underneath it. Yeah. Yes. Why? Oh, oh no. No. I like, I like the graphic, <laughs> though. Yeah, that's funny. Bar. You are my hero that is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> my hair looks cute today. What kind of a boneless iPhone is that? <laughs> what the f... Bruh! Boneless iPhone, oh my god. That's Boneless the one with iPhone. the plastic top on it. That was a few generations ago. Did you just break that off and just kept it? The, the state like in which it. people keep using electronics. I know replacements are expensive, but like you can go back a generation or two. I don't know. I couldn't, no, they I couldn't can't. live with it's that. Impossible. I, would, I would get something cheap or a few generations back to not have to handle a phone that's missing bits of its head. The laptop <laughs> in the server room is a bit filthy. Makes my fingers itch. Ew. Gross. Oh. When I used to consult for restaurants, I peeled a wireless router off the wall from where they had mounted it above a fryer. It was covered in, I kid you not, a half inch of grease on all sides. It was encased in fried fish jelly. Oh, that's disgusting. That's nasty, bro. D did you just mill a squiggly line through? Why? Oh, wait, no, no, the, the gap isn't that big. You, you laser cut a line, a squiggly line through a ThinkPad, and it held together. You know what? It's a ThinkPad. It'll probably still boot. Yeah. Yes. Probably will. Those <laughs> things are immortal. Just, Old school ThinkPads. 
like uh, slide it back together. <laughs> dude, old school think pads are balling, dude. I loved those things. Circuit bender. <laughs> this seems safe and reasonably reliable. No. I was looking around eBay for quadros and found this monstrosity. It was listed for six hundred dollars. <gasps> no. I don't even know if you could repair that, man. You That's... can't. Oh. You can't. That's How fucked. massively cool your computer. You can never have too much thermal paste, she like. Fucking. Yeah. Whoever you are, whoever did this. I did it on purpose. I hope, I hope you have no happiness in life. <laughs> you evil sod. And vigorously. Oh no, you broke your micro SD card. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, toes. <laughs> <laughs> the accompanying oh, like OS toes. images for all of these. Keep it up. These are the funniest parts of the subreddit. Yeah. Another level of hardware gore. Destroyed Intel D320 CPU in electron microscope. I'm very proud of this image. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. That is nice. That's glorious. Processor designers that should be just some of the most insane people. Like they're just on in a whole nother level. Yes, My they are. My friend is a monster who must be stopped. That's that's not that bad. That's not the worst thing. But if I found out someone did that to my laptop, I'm breaking your fucking ankles. <laughs> Some keyboards hey, or my hey, keyboard, hey, rather. It's one thing to have, like, the arrows, like, up there, like, I get, but, like, it's, it's fucked when you think about the fact that WASD is now down there. Yeah. That is not what they do. No, it's not. <laughs> anymore when they're down there, so... <laughs> Like, uh, I, I kind of hate it. Yeah, if I find out, like, I'm breaking your ankles if you do that to my keyboards. Include two sets of those. Your friend can keep doing this. He has my blessing. Ever seen an Not Oreo mine. inside of an iPad? Now you have. Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> A what? what? How did you get the, like, I, I, I have no, uh, no, I, I got nothing. I got, I don't even know what happened. PC you was shutting chill down when you're eating your cookies. Yes. Found the problem. Uh, I told Chad no about this. Shit. I told Chad about this. Brian and Marie, love them to death. They uh, basically had a uh, con had construction going on over top of their apartment, and dust kept like being knocked down from the ceiling. Opening up their laptop or opening up their PC, dude. I told Brian like, dude, you need to move that, otherwise it's gonna get bogged down. And he's like, oh, dude, it's over. Like months later, he's like, oh, dude, it's overheating. I don't know what's going on. It was about like this. Damn. It was not pretty. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Where's the cooler? Is that under the cooler? Oh my god. An artist's computer. All right, um, controversial opinion. This is gorgeous. I actually, I like no. machines that are weathered by the work that, that they do. So like construction computers that have nicks and dings and sawdust and sheetrock in them and painters computers that have paint smudged all over. I like that. It shows the machine served its purpose and is doing, you know, doing its job. That's cool. Is it cake? Mm. No, but but we're gonna pretend it is. <laughs> Nobody cares though because it's a Western Digital Green Drive, which yeah. are just fancy paper <laughs> that hold your data for a little bit of time before they explode. Yeah. Every time I see one of these phones, how are you not dead? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I present you the pink screen of death. Chip on LCD board is broken. Uh oh. What rig is that Vendi on? Vendicon? I've never Medium. seen it before. Also horrifyingly, there is another pink screen of death, and uh, if anybody's worked on HP servers running VMware, you'll know what I'm talking about. My CPU fan is going places. 56,000 RPM. For context, the fastest server fans I know go to 15,000 RPM. Good lord. I have I have a picture of my old laptop's thermals reading something like 200 and something Celsius. I should really post that to here. Bros, Damn. how do I prevent this from happening from now on? Why is there a car in your case? Where else would it be after he downloaded it? Apparently, he <laughs> would download it. I <laughs> Good joke. Dude, come on. Never thought of, like, using a tiny little display shelf inside your computer? That's kind of a cool idea. I've Just seen that done. Um, and without uh, it's a Gundam has a fucking Gundam in his. Um, Leon Hart has uh, the three starter Pokemon from Gen 1 in his. And they're in, like, their own little, like, pri little uh, 
personalized uh, domiciles. My thing is, I just like now that you put the cooler in mine, like I trust it maybe a little more, but I just don't trust it not to like melt things you put inside of it. Right That's now. fair. That's very fair. Touching any important components. Ram was not working. Uh, <laughs> attaching it oh. might be the first. <laughs> well, I hope you can get a refund on that. A measured I hope so. response. The chip only costs one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. Replace it? No way. Ah, uh, I, I mean, um, one hundred fifteen thousand dollars versus probably about a week of very careful soldering. I'd probably yeah. at least attempt this first too. Even paying a really skilled solderer two hundred dollars an hour for a week would be eight thousand dollars. Dad borrowed my Probably. tablet, sat on it, and then returned it like this. God damn it. D Dad, uh, uh, I need you, you to... might want to come back here and replace the tablet. Yeah, I need yeah. you to... You see, my dad... I'd be like, what the fuck is this? See, my dad This isn't broke... the tablet I gave you. My tablet no. was, like, in one piece. My dad well, broke... sat on it. Uh... Okay, then you better go bring me a new one. Yeah, my dad broke, uh, one of my, uh, one of my iPads. I, I, it was one of the, it was the iPad mini that I had for the longest time. I loved that thing. Uh, it was the one I got when I was working at Sprint. And I remembered, uh, he, uh, dropped it and it flipped, uh, as he was dropping it, it flipped and the corner, uh, or, and the corner of the, uh, the, uh, countertop in the kitchen just pow perfectly right on the screen, right in the middle of it. And it just, and he he turned it over. He's like, ooh. And he comes up. He's like, hey son, uh, how much does this cost you? And I'm like, oh man, what happened? And he's just like, I dropped it and hit the countertop. Sorry about that. And how much how much it costs? Or like, uh, well, I got it. I got it for free, but I, I, I can, I'll see if I can get a like a free replacement. But I'll see what it costs, and if yeah, I'll let you know. But uh, thankfully, thankfully, I was able to get a replacement for only like. 125 bucks uh because of like i had points saved up uh so yeah thankfully everything was good well you broke and maybe replace it with an actual surface instead of whatever this is this router at school <laughs> oh. oh my god people there are bracket plates for these one gang holes in the ceiling not only that but you can get some you can get some uh tape squares that can hold that thing up there perfectly. Yeah. What's stopping that? Laziness. Uh, I'm unreasonably annoyed at this. I used the wrong screw when reassembling my DS and it came out in the front. Oh, hello. Oh. I mean, if this thing still runs, I uh, that's actually pretty impressive. Server's down. <gasps> oh no. no. Oh my God, no. Oh, no. God. no. No, that is for context. Yes, this is bad, but also if these are raid arrays, you have to You're put done. the same drive back where it was, or at least get it close to within the same uh, raid span in order for it to come back up. Otherwise, you have to rebuild everything. No. Oh my god. I'm and pretty sure that has to be rebuilt from scratch. Yeah, at that point, 100%. Or we check so most of those are fucking shattered into pieces. They some of them are back in there where, where they came from. Yeah, some of these are not repairable. We're putting stuff in the rack. Someone in my family stomped on my CPU. And yes, that's a snapped corner. Uh, okay, no. many questions. Uh, firstly, Why did you leave your CPU okay? where someone you could call a stomp on after? Because I'm sure that that didn't go well. Number two, um, why was your CPU on the floor? Yeah. Keep it in the box. Asking the real question. Then goes install and then cooler and that's it. Solder counts as hardware, right? Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I've oh, always wanted to do why? something like this. No! Why would you do that? Damn it. I imagine it would be very satisfying. Solder isn't that expensive. Uh, it would, you probably Yeah, but still, I just hate annoying. wasting stuff. That's annoying to waste. Even if it's not expensive, it's just it's it's still wasting Such it's, a waste. Yeah, it's just I don't know. It gets on my nerves. Me too. It gets on my floor. nerves to have to waste like like if I drop a like freaking pill on the floor or something, you know? I'm like, yeah, it was like a, probably the equivalent of like a quarter, but like still, fuck. Still, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> indeed, fuck. Looks cloud out of it. My school's solution to unstable desks. <laughs> I mean, they're Mac store drives, so that's pretty much all they're good <laughs> yeah, for. That's yeah, that's all they're good for after <sighs> What that? even? You know, I... Uh, oh, don't put your milk on top of the damn computer, you uh, idiot. <laughs> it's gonna smell so bad now. Oh. 
You'll be lucky if your if your GPU still works. No, that's a, that's a throw out the whole computer and start over the situation for me. Like, oh, that's, that's why. I, nah, I mean, luck, think... lucky for me, I don't drink milk like that. Like ever. If I ever drink <sighs> milk, I'm in the kitchen with a little cup of it, dipping cookies in it. That's about it. Uh, it's about the same. I pass the uncomfortable questions and just say, this is not how you liquid cool a computer and please don't ever come near my house again. I got back to my desk and was presented with this. I'll never understand why people do this stuff. <laughs> Freaking why? This is grounds for a severe beating. Severe. If I find that, and I, if I, if I drop off my, my laptop to a place for repairs, and I find my laptop, or if I find my keyboard like this, I am taking it back inside, I am cracking it over the dude's head. Seems a little bit of an overreaction. <laughs> and I'm literally just looking, staring at him, just like, think you're funny? Was it funny? Can you laugh? Oh, that's right. You can't laugh with a broken jaw. Dick. <laughs> okay. One, I'm glad the laptop actually allows you to do that. Uh, two, I don't understand why people do that either. They think it's funny, I guess. Probably not the brightest. No. Folks, but, you know, stupid people do stupid things. This Goram keyboard. <laughs> this one's oh, so hell. chaotic. What the hell? That's way worse. Hell. Way yeah, worse. that's now I take it back. That's worthy of that's like not even cracking functional. over the skull. That's a that's worthy of a skull cracking. Well, see, if you, the the previous one, I could still type on it because I don't look at the keys when I type. Like, this one, no, I, I can home row type, so like I could type Good. on it, but that wouldn't fucking work because the space bar is gonna hit like twelve keys. Yeah, <laughs> I home row type as well. Two. I'm used to it, but damn, this is just oh. I kind of, I kind of have to let it go. Did you make the W massive? Yes, you did. You made the. It's a massive W. Whoa. Toner. Where, where, where was yeah. it? Where yeah. was the Is W? It right here. It's right there. Oh, right, right, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you made the. And then of course, the w. next one. Toner. The graphite toner. Oh, that's what happens whenever you, whenever the toner, like, the toner cartridge pops that would suck yeah i've never seen anything like that before you are going to need an industrial vacuum and then some to deal with that <gasps> yep yep is it a twist lock cartridge no it's no, no i think it might be actually be a drum cart yeah okay xerox i have so many stories today i'm sorry you're just gonna have to deal with it xerox toner cartridges is just a giant cylinder of toner with a little door at the top that's not even spring loaded or anything you just it slides open and it will dump all the toner everywhere so if you don't have it just turned the right way and then you push it in it'll open the little door and dump toner literally everywhere and it happened several times to the point where a ton of toner got into the fuser for one of the copiers and melted it just all over the fuser. It was a it was a Ooh. mess and it smelled terrible. I only know about all this because I was usually the one digging around the inside of the copier because the people that were supposed to fix it took like three days to come out. If I had a nickel for every time someone in my household dropped their phone and ran over it with a tractor, I'd have two, which isn't a lot, but it's weird it, that it happened twice. <laughs> On one hand, oh my God, why? On the other, you probably can't hear the foam when it hits the dirt and where you get into the tractor is right in front of the back wheel so you know what it makes sense don't feel too bad mm. i have a mild to moderate suspicion about the third use case it's a hot glue gun use it for closing boxes assembling model airplanes gluing your cpu no to it. no. Wait, that's, no that's that's just a socket Oh my god, there's not even CPU there. No. Crafts and more. Oh my god. Wait, what is the, the preoccupation with gluing the CPU in place that stays in place just fine? It does. My GPU is using me instead of me using it. GPU zero. <laughs> GTX 970, negative 1%. Do you feel tired? Are you unable to obsessively stop thinking about triangles? Can you feel yourself rendering? A user's desktop when I came into work yesterday. What in the high holy- Holy fuck! Gen genuinely, what did they do? Was there a fire? It had to be fire. Had to be. 
Look at so that. Wait, everything's Dude, melted. The screen. They melted off the, the looks polarizing like the keyboard filter. Caught on fire. Yeah, the keyboard. Ha like two thirds of the keyboard is ash. How does the it... mouse is okay. Well, no, it's got it's melted like on the left side of the mouse. See, it oh, I see it. Yeah. Up front, and like the the screen's melted. Like the fire looks like it started at the keyboard, like on the I, right side of the keyboard. I would say something probably fell, boom, was on fire, and thus it did all this damage. Maybe. I don't Just, know. I don't see any other fire damage around anywhere else in the office from that picture, so... I don't know. It just looks like the origin of the fire is the keyboard somehow. I didn't uh, think a keyboard could set on fire, though. Oh, or powdered. What happened? And it's, like, sunk into the desk, too. Yeah, <laughs> like, which is why I would think something, some like, of the wood hit of it. The desk. Something fell on top of it that was on fire. I was just thinking it was burning and burned, like, down into, into the wood somewhat. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that was oh I I feel like I feel I, I feel pain with that. That was just oh I'm leaving a light, but damn. MK you gotta warn us whenever you do shit like that, cause my brain and my heart just can't take that much punishment. <laughs> A good narration on that one. Oh yeah, Lexi. <laughs> Lexi. I like Lexi a lot. Felt like we were all three simultaneously just being horrified together. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But, alright. Anyway, that's gonna do it. So, until next time, everybody. Signing off. I'm Nate. I am Nick. This was MK's Hardware, or Hardware Gore Chips with Dips. Check out more from MK, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>